Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So if you know me, I've been in the market to get a new laptop. And I already am rocking with the, my current laptop was, is a MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch. Um, and this is probably about a year old now, maybe a year old. Um, this is a great laptop. Uh, don't get me wrong. But I just didn't feel I could get, I want something faster than that, better than that, more memory. I want things like that. I also want a better display and a little bit bigger display. So uh, I've been on the hunt probably for the last four to six months. And I've been talking to a lot of people offline about their experiences with their laptops and just, just all kinds of things. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, tell you guys in this video why I decided not to buy the new MacBook. Um, and it's pretty simple. I think the price to value ratio for me doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I have a built PC already. So you already, you already know I have a built PC. I have a 4K monitor, everything. I have a really nice PC. Well, I've been on the hunt for a 4K laptop. So, and I want a portable 4K laptop. So that can get kind of difficult and a little pricey too. But it still wouldn't cost me more than what I would spend for an Apple MacBook Pro uh, 2016. And I still think I would probably get a little bit less. Now, I don't need a terabyte of hard drive, so I didn't go with that. I just went with 500 gig, uh, 512 gigabytes for the hard drive on the computer that I have. And um, I think it's really important to try to stretch out your funds when you're, when you're trying to buy something, start saving for it. And that's what you do. You put a little bit here and there away. So I knew that I was going to get a new laptop. Um, I just didn't know what I was going to get. So I really wanted a 4K laptop for, for watching 4K content and in, on YouTube, Netflix, and um, everywhere that I watch 4K content. I wanted to watch it on the go. So we only have 2K screens on our phones, and the, Mac, and the, um, the iPad Pro plays 1440 video, but I wanted 4K. I wanted to go all in if I could, and the, the new MacBooks just didn't do it for me. I wouldn't recommend that people buy the new MacBooks just because they're new. If you have a 2015 um, MacBook Pro, um, keep it if you're not in the market for a new laptop. Don't, don't buy the new. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not buying the new MacBook Pro um, uh, because I just don't feel like the value is there. Yeah, they took away the ports and some people joked about that, but that's not really a deal breaker for me because I'm looking for performance. I'll work around the ports. If people take away the headphone jacks, I'll work around it. Those things I don't sweat. Um, but having a lot of 4K monitors and TVs and things, I want to be able to put 4K everywhere. So um, the MacBooks, they just didn't do it for me. Um, I don't, I don't, I just think, you know, it's kind of not, not a, I don't know, it's just not worth the money to me, in my opinion, to buy one of those. Because if you think about a spec'd out, um, think about a MacBook that has a fingerprint reader, a um, 4K display, 512 gigabytes of RAM, um, USB Type-C ports. Um, it's just, it's going to be very expensive. Uh, and you can go to Apple right now and spec it out yourself or wherever you shop at, Best Buy, whatever. Uh, but you can spec it out yourself and you're going to get, a, that thing is going to come to over three grand more than likely. Uh, and if you get, if you go with a terabyte hard drive, you're, you're really, or two terabyte, you're going to, you're going to come up off some money. So in this video, I'm going to show you why I did not go with the new MacBook Pro. I decided to go with something, everything I just described, fingerprint reader, 4K display. It has a 7th gen i7 processor. Yes. The graphics card is a 620. So I'm, not, and I'm not a gamer, so I'm not so much worried about the graphics card too much. But I wanted something powerful. 16 gigs of RAM, 512 memory, fingerprint reader, uh, 4K display, 14 inch, ultra thin. Do you know what I'm describing? This is the Lenovo Yoga 910, uh, the special edition. So we're going to crack the seal on this and unbox it and, and, and get it fired up for you. And uh, I'm definitely probably going to, uh, I don't know if I'll like turn it on. It's just a Windows computer. More importantly, the hardware is what I was trying to find. Uh, and I got everything I wanted. It even has a fingerprint reader. And I wasn't really looking for that. But Windows Hello, the fingerprint reader is boss. So I don't have to do any kind of password. Just boom, put my finger on there. And I can put 10 finger. I can put all 10 fingers on there. So uh, I'm going to show you what's in the box and uh, give you kind of a tour around it. And um, this will cost you right under 1500 or right under 1700 with taxes probably. But I got it on sale, so it was under 15 out the door uh, at the recording of this video. 
They're on sale at Best Buy uh, until December 10th, 2016, I believe. So let's look inside the box. I haven't cracked the seal yet, so let's do it together. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to crack the seal on my brand new uh, laptop. This is a Yoba 910. I try to get the, the highest specs I can get for the money that I wanted to spend and, and get the most for my money. Uh, but let's crack this open here. I got the little Lenovo. This is a special edition version. I think it might only be available at, at Best Buy. Uh, and you'll see here in a second. Um, let's crack it open here. Now this thing has a 4K display. Oh, I like the presentation. How do you get it open? Oh, like this? Oh, it's got little magnets. Okay. Oh, and it raises up. Get out. They, okay, it's a special edition, so they better give me something good. This, <laughs> this is how it opens up. And it raises up out of the box. Go ahead. Uh-oh, bumpy cam. I can never do it, guys. I can never get through a video without bumpy cam. So it kind of sits up on here. And here's the laptop. Uh, in here, it's got the charging brick, probably. Yeah. It's got a USB Type-C uh, charging brick. Because this is a USB Type-C device. There's a USB Type-C. And then over here, I like this little presentation though. Over here, this is probably just some booklets or something, or what's in here. Oh, this is the extender for the power cable. Okay, so uh, definitely need this stuff. But we're gonna put this all aside. And wow, that's pretty much it. Okay, no manuals, no nothing. That is a first, unless they're in here. Let's put all this aside here. I do like the box presentation. So like I said, this is the special edition uh, and I think it might only be available at Best Buy. So as you can see here, I have the glass back, uh, glass top on the glass lid. Now th this thing um, normally has a metal lid. This is the 910 uh, and this one has some pretty great specs. I'll read them off to you here. It's really nice. So I'll read them off to you here. It's got a 4K display. It's got, it's a 14 inch laptop, but it's got, uh, it's got the bezel list display. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's got 512 gigs of memory, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got the watch band uh, hinge right here. I think it has a 7, 720p display. It does have USB ports on here. Uh, one USB port and the USB type C has two of those. Uh, so let me get to the specs for you. I hate to, you know, do the specs stuff, but some people might want to hear it just in case you're in the market for a nice laptop. And this laptop is totally worth it to me because I was in the market, like I said, I was in the market to get the new MacBook, and it just didn't didn't do it for me. So this has a 14-inch 4K Ultra HD touchscreen display, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD, uh, and it has the bezel-less display. It has the i7 7th gen processor inside. I'm super excited about that. I believe the graphics card is the 620. Uh, its resolution though is 3840 by 2160. I am super pumped about that. And it's an LED backlit. Uh, the, the processor I believe is clocked at 2.7. And that's DDR4 RAM. Uh, I'm, I'm super pumped. Two USB Type-C ports, one 3.0 USB um, port. Uh, it's got obviously all the, the bells and whistles for, for Wi-Fi. It's got the latest and greatest on there. It's got an HD camera on here, which means it's 720p, not 1080p. Um, this is going to do very good for Netflix streaming and, and just all of my 4K stuff. Uh, but this also has a fingerprint reader on it as well to log you in. So I'm just going to do the little unboxing portion. And then maybe we'll talk about it. It depends on how I feel. So take a look around. This is a very thin and lightweight laptop. It's really an ultra book. So you've got the headphone jack, the power key, and the USB 3.0 right there. Around the front here, you've got nothing just a hinge and everything. And on the bottom here, you've got JBL sound. JBL, they come off the bottom firing. But if you have it in like the um, tablet mode, they'll fire out nice. And on this side is where you have the two USB-C ports. These are 3.1 USB Type-C. So first cracking of the lid. And oh, also back here you have the watch band, watch band hinge. 
in the glass back it's just some limited edition that they have at best buy i believe or i don't know for sure but i didn't see it on the website so uh cracking it open here oh yes goodness 4k goodness so we don't need this and here's the keyboard and here's the fingerprint reader right here and there is the seventh gen core i7 it's gonna be really nice uh, the the trackpad is really good this is also since it's a limited edition I don't know if you can see that this is 928 out of 4,000 of these that will be made so I'm pretty happy about that. It's got dual microphones uh, this actually goes around like this so this is going to be really really nice yes 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 so I'm going to get this set up this is just my uh, unboxing I'm super excited to have one of 4,000 of these uh, and I'm, I'm definitely going to take care of this baby but let's, let's give you some kind of comparison here's my MacBook Pro 2015 this is a 13 inch and this is a 14 inch bezel-less screen on my current laptop so I was if you if you know I've been searching for a new uh, laptop and I was gonna go with the um, new MacBook Pro I just opted not to man I just I felt like I was getting less when I spec'd it out and I was paying too much now this 2015 version is the one I would recommend to people if they want to keep or get a MacBook Pro uh, but with these right here man I just feel like I'm getting so much more out of here for my money and that depends on the user like I feel like this is a much better purchase than the 2016 MacBook so I didn't make this video to bash Apple in any kind of way but I just wanted to let it be known that this is my new go-to laptop because I wanted a 4k display so there you have it uh, fingerprint reader on here 16 gigs of RAM 7th gen ah it's so nice I have a link in the description to this if you decide to pick it up it's, I think it's, it's on sale at Best Buy until um, the 10th I believe so this will run you about just under 1500 bucks uh, probably with taxes out of the door well worth it because this costs 1500 bucks a year ago so I think we're making some progress but this is Windows 10 also I really wanted a very thin thin portable laptop and the watch watch band hinge is oh I can't wait to get this fired up so I'll see you in the next video and I'll report back also um, you know how it is from time to time if I do another video uh, I'll give you guys an update or you might see some in this video it just depends on how I get the setup going and you know what I'm doing so I'll see you guys in the next video it's your man J Will if you see more come stick around just in case I decide to record some more stuff so deuces